Philip Milburn runs two superb Norfolk shoots. Hartham and Quidnham Estates offers 8,500 acres that King Edward VII enjoyed as one of the great Edwardian shoots. Narford Hall is 2,500 acres with a more rolling landscape. Both give a mixture of fast-flying pheasants and spectacular Norfolk partridges. Hartham and Quidnham have been laid out for shooting for you know, 100 or 200 years. Um, the Hartham estate has been in the beaver family for 300 years and it's been shot all that time. And the Quidnham estate, the biggest, uh, was laid out for shooting to attract King Edward VII. And so where we go today we'll be standing on pegs that the, uh, that the, that the previous king was shooting. He used to come up by train with an entourage of 50 people some of his servants had servants, and they would all be picked up at Eccles Station, which we'll go past today, and there'd be uh, scores of carriages which would take them to the front of the house, up what they call the King's Ride, which is still there, we may see it today, and, uh, and then stay at the house. And he'd stay there for about a week at the time, and all farming activities were stopped, and all the farm workers were beaters, and uh, I should imagine it was quite an exciting time for the village. Robert Brown is gamekeeper at Hartham and Quidnham. He describes a typical day here. Guns meet here for around about 8.30, uh, 8.45. They come into the, into the shoot lodge for, for morning coffee and uh, we generally depart here about 9 o'clock. OK, have a good day guys. Because we run uh, two shoots as one, we generally work away from the, from the shoot and then work back. So we normally start on the Quidnam the state first and then work back to half them as the day draws on. Uh, it was primarily a, a pheasant shoot but we've tried to introduce partridges there, French partridges and we find they go very very well there, very very well on, uh, on the nice light land, typical Breck land. James Horn of Guns on Pegs is a fan. He explains how shooting on the fairly flat land of Norfolk is just as exciting as more hilly country. Well, with pheasants in the West Country, you can see them maybe for a long way coming and you're looking at them getting more and more intimidated as they get higher and higher as they come over the gun. East Anglia is slightly different, whereas you don't see the birds until they're almost upon you as they burst over like a cloudburst over the hedgerows. And it's fantastic. It's a brilliant sight. And of course, you've got to be very quick and, you know, one shot one shot out front and then one behind you is probably all you can do. So East Anglian partridge shooting is, is a different form of shooting. They aren't so far away necessarily in height terms, but speed, um, you can be undone. And in fact, uh, you, lot of, you watch a lot of these guns who are well used to shooting down these very high birds uh, in the West Country and Wales and whatnot. But in fact, actually you put them on the partridges and they find it very difficult. We'll normally do two drives at Quidnam. We normally have a short break for our 11s. Champagne and smoking. Uh, and then we'll do a further two drives at Quidnam and then that's back here for lunch. We do obviously grow quite a bit of maize, uh, you know, for the for covers for pheasants. Uh, because both the estates are quite heavily wooded, we try and draw the birds out into the covers. And uh, we're just trying to make use of, uh, you know, what slopes we have in, uh, in this particular drive. The, the, the ground falls quite nicely back to the woodland and the birds rise out rather quickly. Go north from Hargham and Quidnam towards Narford Hall and you enter the hills of North Norfolk. Philip describes the difference in the terrain at Narford Hall. Well, I know it's pretty flat here, but the other side of the estate has got some real undulating topography, and that's the reason I took the shoot on. It's about 2,600 acres, uh, there's about 30 woods across the whole estate, um, and, a, and a great variety of shooting. We've got some good partridge drives, and what is for Norfolk, some pretty high pheasants. Uh, you get different quality of birds in a different style. In fact, you can actually get some very tall birds as they burst over the um, high trees. Uh, at Narford, so they're two different, two different uh, shoots and great fun and, and shooting I think is about variability and um, variation of the quarry. So um, no, I think um, both shoots are challenging for um, people who are looking for interesting partridge shooting. Narford is um, 
uh, obviously further north from here. The land's a lot more rolling up there than it is down here. Um, you know, you're talking about um, uh, 35, 40 miles from here, and it doesn't make a lot of difference. You get north Norfolk. Uh, there's some super drives there. So that's what your super drives are, some stunning pheasants. Yeah, the drives uh, are, are probably a bit smaller than what they are here. That's uh, a much more compact shoot. Philip Milburn makes sure of the quality of birds. He brings them on himself. We rear all the birds here on this uh, game farm for all my shoots. Um, so we put uh, equally about pheasants and partridges there, about 7,500 of each, and we have about 30 days there. Uh, but that's my most recent shoot, so we're still developing it. And uh, next year, uh, with, with the full cooperation of the farmers, uh, I think we'll have some different cover crops, and, and that'll be a really exciting shoot for us. Be some really good fast partridges, not necessarily the highest things in the yeah. world, but you know, shoot safely and just yeah. get them yeah. as they come out front, and uh, you should have a great drive. So, if you're you know, if you're like that, yeah. doesn't mean getting up down your knees now. <laughs> <laughs> Whether you book a day at Narford Hall or Halfman Quidnam, Philip Milburn and his staff are there to give you a great shoot day. It's a lot easier to just get them like that. You know, the people want to come out, they want to enjoy themselves, they want the day to last. Um, they have a, they have a light lunch and then a, then a good meal afterwards. You know, just to, just to make a day of it, really. To find out about days available at Narford Hall or Halfham and Quidnam, visit www.gunsonpegs.com. Click on Buy Shooting, select Find a Shoot, and look them up.